So we back with another video and today I got y'all boys with a build specific video Today we're gonna be doing something a little different So today we're gonna be giving y'all like a hybrid build Now we're gonna do a lot more of these videos Where we give y'all stuff that pretty much can do everything But not just everything Literally be a guard on it or you can play it big It's really gonna be however you wanna make it Now this is gonna be a very build specific video Because I don't see too many people making build on this hype and yeah, it's only right. So if you guys want more of these hybrid build videos, just go ahead and like the video. Hopefully you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Without further ado though, let's hop into it. Alright, so for the first hybrid build, I'm going to be honest. This is, the title says best hybrid guard big man build in the game. Now, if I'm being honest, if you, you want to say a best hype for the best guard and big combo where you could be a guard you could be a big you could be a lock you could be a versatile you could be whatever you wanted i probably say six nine but when going for all that within the one build you probably can still argue six nine but i would also argue this build is on par if not better so let's hop into it so it's on my rare builds account too many builds on the main too many builds on the other ones so we on this one we're going to be at the center position. Some of them at power forward, but it really doesn't matter the position. That's really on you, which one you want to go with. So when you make it, make sure you go with whatever position you want, power forward or center. Hand and number is really up to you. When it comes to the build, you're going to be 6 foot 11. 6 11, in my opinion, is the next upper echelon for 6 9. 6 9s, if you know why they're so broken, it's because of the tiers. 6 11 is pretty, pretty similar with tiers on 6 9s. It's just even wilder. So yeah, um, six nines honestly have some pretty bad like playmaking tiers, whereas six eleven has really really over overpowered six eleven like playmaking tiers. It's just you're not gonna be able to have the craziest playmaking on it because you don't get nearly as high of playmaking on a six eleven. But on this video, we're gonna show you guys three different pressure points on these builds because if you know how these work, um, when it comes to going for a lot taller heights, you could even do it on six nine and go for like post control to get quick first step really high and we're gonna show you guys three different pressure points one in the middle one on the extent one on like the the regular version so 611 220 611 wingspan body type is up to you so for the first one it's gonna be kind of like the regular version how you would make a guard build but also able to play big man on it so you're gonna be 69 close shot because we don't really want to do layups but we have an 89 driver layup for the long athlete just did a layup video for y'all boys so hope y'all understand that but you have an 89 layup for a long athlete but also to have gold slithery for the people that I want that and an 86 driving up so you can have gold limitless takeoff which is also tier one so you're getting slithery finisher limitless takeoff both as tier one badges but that's not all you're also getting silver posterizer as a tier two badge as a tier two as a tier two with 90 standard dunk and i've told y'all time and time and again standard dunk is damn near more broken than driving dunk even is and you're gonna have gold rise up to go alongside that as well so it's gonna be very very wild when it comes to being in that paint now three pointer wise you're gonna even have an 85 three ball with a 70 mid range and a 70 free throw 76 pass accuracy to be able to have break starter because it is a hybrid big man guard field and you're gonna be able to have vice grip um, pluckable, you're gonna be able to have silver quick first step. You're gonna be able to have all these badges, even clamp breaker, handles for days in tier one for the people that want to use those badges. Even at bronze, having those badges as tier one where you can only like you put on both of those, those are now two badge points. If you know how hard it is to even get handles for days as gold, like 94, a lot of people don't even be able to run it as much as they want to do it. You'll easily be able to run that on this build. 75 ball handles, people have certain dribble moves, not too crazy, but you will have those certain dribble moves and 67 speed ball now one thing i want to say that the hardest thing about making this video was did i want to make the builds have just different attributes on the same like height weight wingspan type of deal or did i want to go for a diff a variety of like different height weight wingspan i just made them all on the same height weight wingspan so that y'all can kind of get the gist of how these 611s work so um honestly you probably can make it a little bit better because i know if you want to be a big man long wingspan does come into effect but if you do go higher wingspan reason why i did go with this wingspan not only is it going to be able to have a higher three ball but on these bigger builds it does lower your ball handling speed of ball so 75 ball handle 
kind of hard to get if you go higher than seven foot wingspan so i just want y'all to understand that a 75 interior defense for the big man vert part of it 75 printed defense but you don't have clamps so you're gonna really have to be able to use your stick 67 steel which is not that crazy as well 75 block which is not that crazy for a big man build but it is gonna be enough to have bronze anchor and gold chase down artists with a 47 offensive rebound which is not that big of a deal because we are having the ability to shoot the ball if we didn't have the ability to shoot the ball i probably would have that max and then 82 defensive rebound to be able to have rebounds it's just that simple now i wanted to have that 85 but it is what it is now physicals 76 speed you get plus for the gym rat that's not 80 max acceleration max strength max vertical 90 stamina now pretty much probably gonna be the best vertical like physicals that you're gonna see on this entire thing the thing is that's gonna be the difference from this build and the others you only have a bronze quick first step and that's gonna be a big difference on the other builds. so let's hop into those Actually, before we hop into those, let's go over the takeovers. Now, takeovers is another thing that's going to be different across the builds. Now, you're going to have Slasher, Sharp, Playmaker, and Lockdown. I was getting ahead of myself. So, I'm going to go with limited range and finish moves like I usually do. And I'm going to show you all what the build comes out. And, like, similar two shades up for pretty much all the builds so you all can see it and stuff like that. So, if you all want to see the name. But you do get Pascal, Bam, and Christian Wood. Now, I did make this at center. So, that really does determine. I'm surprised Pascal is a center on here. I don't know if he's playing center for the Raptors or whatever. But he is a center on here. But it comes out in the out score. Now, for the opposite end of the spectrum, we're going to be at the same account. We're going to be pretty much power force now. Handy numbers are really up to you, but I go with the same thing every single time. And same height, weight, and wingspan across all the builds. So you don't have to worry about that. But the significant difference here is going to be the 99 pulse control. The 99 pulse control now allows you to not only have Hall of Fame quick first step, but also Hall of Fame unpluckable and Hall of Fame vice grip. So those are three huge differences across the build. Now, I will say this, if you go with this and you want to have unpluckable, you're going to have to add more playmaking, but you can add it to whatever category you want and you're going to have enough badges. So you just need two more, but if you want to have neither threader or something like post playmaker, that's really on you. Now, if you want to be able to have break start on all these, you will have to have a 76. It's just hard to have that on, across all these builds. So I tried to make sure I had a substantial thing for every single thing. I tried to make sure that we had a 70 plus for interior defense, 75 block on every single time, 75. Pretty much tried to max out the printed defense and steal every single time and try to have my rebound as high as possible. Now, for this one, I just tried to make sure I had enough badges. So if I lower that, lose a badge. I lower this, I lose a badge. So I just made sure I had that as high as possible. I wanted that to be way higher, but to have that 99 pulse control, you just got to sacrifice. And I did still want to have that 85 three ball. Now, if you don't feel like you need an 85 three ball to get silver limitless, you can definitely lower that and you'll be able to have a higher interior defense, a higher defensive rebound. Physicals, 70 speed. I want that to be higher, but it is what it is. 73 acceleration. I wanted that to be higher, but I couldn't get that higher regardless. A6 strength. Want this vertical to be higher for sure, but I just put it to 75 to be able to have content on with a 90 stamina. So, when it comes to going for more post control, you're kind of having to lean more into being a guard, but also you're leaning more into being a big man because now you have post control. And that 86 strength is just always important to have because that's going to allow you to have badges like Bat Down Punisher, but also allow you to have badges like Brick Wall. So, those are going to always be important things to have. Now, badges wise, um, also very important, top to bottom, 23, 18, 16, 15. You can add that to any category that you want, but I'm going to be honest. For the defensive, you're going to pretty much have the majority of the, the defensive badges that you really care most about are going to be in Tier 1, whereas you're going to have Chase Down Artists in Tier 2, Valk Style Beast Tier 2, and all like the big man badges in Tier 3. So, yeah, and then playmaking, kind of the same deal. I already went over that. Shooting, pretty much the same deal. And yeah, this is really what it is. Now, takeover wise, you're only gonna end up with sharp and post score takeover. So that really is the thing. I did go with limitless and back down, power back down just to be a I'm not I'm not gonna lie, just being a bona fide hoe, can cap. And yeah, that's what I went with. And then the build takeovers or not takeovers, but shades up come out as this is honestly one of the weirdest things, but KD is actually a weird similar to the get I guess because you have to be power for it now, but I've really never seen him. But yeah, we did get KD and it comes out as an inside out score. And all right, last but not least, this is going to be pretty much the balance of the two. So one end where you had pretty much no post control and you just went for the best build possible. And the next end where you went for a high post control to have Hall of Fame quick first step. Now, you may be like, my 6'9 doesn't even have Hall of Fame. So why do I need Hall of Fame? So you might want to go with this one where it's going to be a little bit more balanced of the two. Power 4, handing numbers up to you. 6'11, 220, 6'11. Now, when it came to position, like I said at the beginning, either you're going to make it power for the center, you don't have to make it power for it. But pretty much everything else from the height weight wingspan is pretty much what you need to do. Now, by the time, I would probably make it bully, or not, 
whatever. I'm gonna probably make it built, but I just went solid, just making it quick. Now, for the build, you're gonna be 24, 18, 16, and 15. So from the spectrum of the badges, you're gonna pretty much have the same thing, especially playmaking and shooting. But defensive, you're gonna have a little bit higher interior defense, and you're gonna have a little bit higher defense. But the main thing is, you lower your post control to have a higher dunk, standing dunk, and you're gonna have a lot better physicals, in my opinion, when it comes to the speed. Now, you could, if you don't care about your speed going from 70 to 78, what I would do is, I will raise this, and then go like this. And then you would have best, best of both worlds, so that you have that 80 vertical to go alongside your rebound and block, or you can just keep it at 75 for the contact dunks and stuff like that. So it's really on you how you wanna go about that. But for the 24 finishing, you're gonna have pretty much a lot of Hall of Fame badges as a possibility in tier one with the limitless takeoff, the slithery, the posterizer, still being those options that they are. And you still have 24 badges to work with. But the 80 standard dunk allows you to not have silver rise up. Then when it comes to the 94 post control, that is gonna allow you to have badges like push for step, gold, but still gonna have a Hall of Fame fight script, which is very important for big men, very important, and still gonna have gold unpluckable, which is pretty important if you wanna be a guard. But I will be honest, you do have a 75 ball handle, so you do have a gold unpluckable, but I don't know how big of a deal. I don't know if you getting ripped is based off your ball handle as much as it is based off your unpluckable. I still haven't figured that fully out because re like stone ball steals is still really easy in this game, no matter what type of build you're on. 85, three ball, that's just really what it is. And then 70 mid range, again, 60 free throw, again. And then 75 pass accuracy, if you wanna have that one higher, you can, but it's just really hard to have everything else. And then, yeah defense i tried to add as high as possible interior defense and defense rebound this time but pretty much the block printed defense and still gonna be pretty much the same all the times um you really would just go with a higher block higher defense rebound higher interior defense across the bills depending on how you made it and then i did either go max speed or go 80 vertical it's really up to you and then i went 70 or 71 speed if i went with 80 vertical but yeah and then i went 75 vertical if i did go max speed but yeah you do have max acceleration max strength really much the same thing every single time with a 90 stamina now takeovers wise you i'm pretty sure you do get pretty decent ones you don't get like lock you don't get rim you don't get glass though but you do get slasher and sharp which i would probably go with as my takeovers i said this time and time again i do think slasher takeover is the best takeover for big man when you take into account the plus eights or plus tens when it comes to what you get on the build and the build comes out as similar to shades of jeremy grant lebron and aaron gordon i don't know what's going on with these similar two shades of i guess lebron plays power forward in the nba i knew kd did but i guess they're changing it based off what they play in real life so now, if you want to get the similar two shades up for LeBron, you would have to be powerful. But it is what it is. That's going to be the 6'11 builds. That's what I think when it comes to the hybrid guard builds, big man builds. Um, really, really just wanted to make sure that you understood how these builds kind of work. I tried to make them all the same height with wingspan so you can see when it comes to going for certain things on the build, how they would look when you get those things and how they would drop and increase based off those types of videos. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty much the build. If you guys want more, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully I can do a lot more of these hybrid builds in the future for when it comes to 6.7, 6 6.9s, 6 6 really on you how y'all wanna go about it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Like the video, hopefully you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Without further ado though, it's your boy Fizz. And I have to be mad. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah.